You're about to see one of the nicest communities that we have in Pooler, Georgia right now. Okay, so I'm in Forest Lakes Drive right now. This is the entrance. That is what you see. There is also an apartment complex on the right side right here, right? So before I show you the community, I want to share with you some things that you might want to know about if you were to live in this area. So let's go back and check out the map and see what's actually around this community. So here's where I'm at right now. That is the map of the communities. And just so you know, this is what's around it. We have the outlets right here in Pooler, which is only five minutes away from Forest Lakes. Also, the airport is only 12 minutes away. We have a Walmart six minutes away. This community is 30 minutes away to River Street, which is downtown Savannah, and 55 minutes away from Tybee Island Beach. All right, with that out of the way, now let's talk about the houses and the community. The houses, the year built of the houses right here in this community, it's anywhere from 2002 to 2023, meaning they're still building new construction right here, right now. There's lots available pieces of land that you can buy and order a brand new construction from scratch if you wanted to. So if you're interested, you can give me a call right there. That is my number on the screen. Let's continue. There's also an HOA, and that means a homeowners association, which means that you need to pay an annual fee of $1,304 a year if you wanted to live here. Now, with that money, it comes a clubhouse, a fitness facility, a playground, and also a pool, because it gets pretty hot in here, and I'm sure you want to want to enjoy a pool with your family and friends if you were to live in this community. Also, something I didn't mention is regarding the prices. You can see on the video so far, all of the houses look super nice, and this is not a cheap community, all right? The price meter right now, by the time I'm recording this video in 2023, is $500,000, okay? So that means that there are some homes that you can find for either 400, maybe 410, 425, 450, but there's also some other homes that you can find for 600, $700,000, all right? Now, the median would be about $500,000 right now. By the way, guys, I probably shouldn't tell you this, but I'm gonna say it anyway. This community has a very special place in my heart. Why? Because I remember going to Walmart one day, buying $32 worth of groceries, and my car declined in front of everyone. Super embarrassing. I remember during that time, I was behind on my mortgage payments a few months, and I received a few letters from the bank telling me, hey, bro, we're gonna take your house. If you don't pay, we're gonna foreclose. I also had a car that I couldn't pay either right so i was broke i was sleeping on a mattress on the floor and i had this beautiful girlfriend which actually we have a daughter right now together but i remember talking to lisa this is a lady from this community which used to live in grandview drive right now she lives in miami she gave me the opportunity to sell her house and i sold it for over half a million dollars and guess what obviously i got compensated for it and those $18,000 that I earned helped me get back on my feet. So this community has a very special place in my heart because of it. By the way, if you're planning on moving to this area, either Savannah, Pooler, Richmond Hill, Tybee Island, whatever it is, stay until the end of the video because I'm about to answer some of the most common questions like, what is the credit score do you need to qualify? Who should you call? Like, what are some lenders that I can call? Um, how much is the inspection? How much money do I need for the down payment? Things like that, all right? So stay until the end of the video. I'm about to share with you those questions.
All right, let's answer some questions right now. Number one, and first of all, this is just an estimate. It is right there on the bottom on yellow. This is just an estimate. How much money do you need for an inspection, Bruno? About $400, depending on the size of the home. The appraisal will be about $600. How much down payment do you need? Depending on the loan, but it's gonna be anywhere from three to 5% or whatever you want above that, all right? Closing costs, two to 4% in the state of Georgia. And at the bottom, it shows you how much money you need out of pocket depending on the price range that you're looking at. All right, next, let's talk about credit scores and loans and down payments. If you're using conventional loan, you might need a 680 uh, credit score if you want a down payment of 3%. Now, if you have anywhere from 620 to 679, the down payment will be 5%. All right. If you have more than 20%, you are not going to need a uh, private mortgage insurance. You see it right there, conventional, no PMI. That's only for people who do 20% or more. If you're using FHA loan, you're going to need a credit score of 580 or more, and the down payment will be 3.5%. Now, if your credit score is messed up, you have anywhere from 500 to 579, you're going to need a down payment of 10% if you want to qualify for an FHA loan. Now, the VA, obviously, you don't need a minimum down payment or anything like that. Those are for veterans and, and stuff like that. Now, the USDA loan is for um, rural areas, meaning places that are kind of like in the country. So in this area, it would be anywhere from the west of 95, Highway 95 in, in Chatham County. Anything west of 95, you may qualify for a USDA loan. And that means that you don't need any down payment whatsoever. Next is the home buying process. What is the first thing you need to do is to find out if you even qualify and for how much. Number two, once you have the pre-approval letter, you can actually go home shopping and find a house that you really like. Number three, you make an offer on the home and you negotiate that offer. Number four, once they accepted the offer, you enter the due diligence period. That means that you're not obligated to purchase the home. You can actually get it inspected. And then if you change your mind, you can get your deposit back and call it a date and move on. But if that's not the case, then you go to the pre-closing and title. That means that the attorney will actually be uh, researching the title, make sure you can purchase it, et cetera, et cetera. And then after that, you go to the closing office, sign the paperwork, and they give you the keys. As simple as that. So what do you need to get a pre-approval letter? All right. I'm going to tell you what are they going to ask you for so you can have it ready. And then I'm going to tell you some contacts that actually help the majority of my clients down here. All right. So you can go to the description of this video, find a contact or just text me and tell me, hey, what are the lenders you use so I can get in touch with them? So let's get started on that. All right, so they're going to ask you for employment history. They want to make sure that you're not jumping around from job to job, getting fired and blah, blah, blah. All right, they're going to check your credit. They want to make sure that you actually pay your loan every time you say that you pay. Also, they're going to check your bank statements, right? They want to make sure that you actually get paid and that you have money on those accounts and that those accounts belong to you. Also, they're going to ask you and they want to verify if you have money for your down payment and your closing costs. All right. Then they're going to ask you for the tax documents. They want to know how much money you made a year to make sure you're not lying. All right. Tax documents have to be the last two years. It cannot be one from 2018 and another one from 2020. So they were going to ask you for the last two years of taxes. And then and only then you can find out how much you actually qualify. Also, you can go online and use a mortgage calculator and get a, uh, a, an estimate online for free just to get started so go online google mortgage calculator or pre-approval calculator and get it done